A lead dev for 343 says that the sandbox update for the winter update might be a bit controversial for some players. Here's what he said. We're going to have a blog that's coming out soon. The community team's working on that's going to like show all the stuff that's being worked on by the sandbox team. So yeah, it should be, it should be good. I think there might be some controver controversial stuff, at least from like the pro community. Um, but I think there's going to be a lot that they like and that everyone likes too. So hearing that from Tashi is going to be quite interesting what he actually means by controversial. I think right now the big three that we're going to be talking about are the Mangler, Sword, and Drop Weapon feature within Halo Infinite. As the Mangler has been GA'd for pretty much the entirety of Season 1 of HCS, the Sword in the most recent event as well as Drop Weapon. So some aspects of the pros might not like with the update being maybe the Mangler might stay within competitive the way it is right now. Maybe the sword does stay and if they does get any kind of changes. Does the drop weapon feature get nerfed so it's not faster than just switching your weapon? We'll just have to wait and see. What I anticipate to see as someone who's been playing all year long, keeping an ear on the ground when it comes to any news and updates coming to the sandbox, that the most likely I would expect to see the Mangler go when it comes to the competitive side of things. Most likely getting replaced with the sidekick, but that would just be my assumption. Though I do think the sword is probably going to be there to stay as we've had the sword previously in competitive Halo. And I think the biggest issue that people have with it is that there really isn't much of a way of a counter for it, especially when you tag the extended lunge range with the sword, as well as sprint and sliding the extended mobility that you have. It can be a bit much. With the addition of sprint, the sword definitely became a much more offensive weapon where previously it was much more of a defensive weapon baiting people around corners where now you're being the aggressor sprinting around that corner to go slash somebody with the sword it can be kind of frustrating on the receiving end the drop weapon feature where you can actually drop the weapon faster than switching to your we other weapon I think it's probably going to stay within the game and I do think it's an interesting mechanic that can be utilized properly to put the advantage on players who might not be utilizing it as much. Though we do know that other weapons within the sandbox are going to get buffed like the Pulse Carbine which could be that controversial aspect that would really change things up. Here's what Dev said about that. that no. Interesting. Uh, we do have a buffed version on our end uh, but Hopefully that's coming to our players soon. Oh, so you're okay. maybe I'm just biased towards the the you're demoing dev version. Uh, an updated <laughs> version is what I'm hearing. So we don't know what you're talking about yet, but right. okay. Okay. Now when this is updated buff version of the pulse carbine, we're not quite sure. As we've seen within the winter update videos, it's still five round bursts. My assumption is that the tracking is gonna be a little bit tighter. The projectiles might be a little bit faster to make it much more effective at the weapon's placement of ripping shields than switching to a kinetic weapon for the headshot. But of course, once we get that blog this week, we should know more about it. Which it looks like we'll be getting a blog update about the sandbox update very soon, which we will cover in depth on this channel, which we already talked about already. If you guys want to know more about it, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.